This new video will cover the basics of Rewazd without focusing on a specific game. I must advise that Rewazd main usage has never been to get aim assist on your mouse. It is a remapper. This means that it will take an input method, like mouse, and output another one, like a gamepad. For example, here I have my dual sense and it is recognized. I have a simple config here that rebinds the bumpers to A and B to jump and crouch. Cross and circle are rebinded to the bumpers. This button is now Xbox. As you can see here, the output for Rewazd will be Xbox 360, and you could change if needed. Here we can see the DualSense getting hidden, and a new Xbox 361 shows up. If I turn it off, the DualSense shows again. The main license will allow you basic remapping, but only buttons. Advanced mapping, as you can see, is the feature set that will turn your mouse into a gamepad. It also has other options for physical gamepad. Combo will allow us to create all sorts of macro sequences, multiple presses with keyboard, gamepad, and mouse output. This is what is used for recoil control macros. Rapid Fire will allow us to set up a bind that will send repeated presses with a delay you can set in milliseconds. It also will allow us to toggle shift layers, which I will discuss shortly. Slots will allow us to set shortcuts to switch between up to four configs. Could be helpful, but it's not needed. Back to the first screen, we will first deal with devices. Here, I have my mouse. Below here, I have all devices. The ones not initialized will have a question mark. I can click the satellite icon to enter detection mode. Pressing mouse clicks or keyboard keys will light up the icon of the device you are pressing. The first time you run it, you will need to set up the devices so they have the correct icon. Here is my mouse with correct name. You can reinitialize and choose the correct type. For mouse and keyboard, we need to group both together. We also need to make sure it is the correct one, as sometimes we have virtual devices. Here, you can see each device has a proper icon. Here on the left side, I have a list of games. These are like categories. You can have multiple configs inside. Here I can change the name of the group or edit it. Now here I also have a tab for the keyboard. Here I have all of the binds for it. Pressing one will send out the Y button of the controller. The mouse tab will be easier as it is more graphical. On this menu, I can enable descriptions. If the config has them, you would see a description on each bind. Here we can see the side buttons are used to crouch and swap weapon with B and Y button. If I swap the bind to the three key and reapply the config, then my mouse side button writes three. The movement of your mouse is now set to the right stick. This stick 
and wazed to the left stick. Because of this, all binds remap. Stop behaving as normal, including your mouse, as it is now a stick. Switching layers to one with native behavior or no binds will act normal. You can switch back when you are in game. Here we can see the layers changing with the notification. Each config should have a specific layer that will unlock the normal behavior of the input device. Here will be mouse and keyboard. This dropdown will show all the layers, and if you hover on any, you will be able to see what keys will toggle each layer. Here on the keyboard binds, the switches are at the top. Both will switch from the main layer. However, escape is not muted. This will keep its native behavior and open the menu as well. Home will toggle in and out, and as it is muted, it won't do anything as it is only a switch. The number one is also muted, but it is only a bind of the Y button. Tab here is also muted, and it will send the View button. On the right click, I have a switch to a different layer. This is called Shift Mode. Inside, we can see the layer it jumps to, how that jump behaves, and the button mapping it will use. This will press the left trigger, which is usually used to aim down sights and will switch to the recoil layer when held. This is usually used to have different sends when aiming or a recoil combo when firing only from this layer. On a controller, I can also have a layer with different binds. I can also have a switch on the left trigger, but it's behind the bumper. Shift mode will enable the switch of layers. I select the aiming layer and I want the switch to work while I'm holding the trigger. While the config is on, layers are switching. 